Haiti is still recovering from a devastating earthquake, but many are unaware that an environmental catastrophe is looming on the horizon as well. Nearly all of Haiti's 50 frog species are threatened with extinction, the highest proportion of any country. Other Haitian species are similarly threatened. The reason? Haiti's natural forests have been almost completely destroyed, and thousands of species of plants, animals, and microbes that have depended on these forests to survive will disappear as well. Geologists refer to such events as mass extinctions, like the asteroid collision that wiped out the dinosaurs, although this mass extinction is from the impact of humans. Forests are destroyed primarily because people need wood for energy, as in charcoal for cooking. Charcoaling is a major economic activity, and charcoal markets are spread throughout Haiti. The pressure is great because Haiti's human population has grown to more than 10 million. The small patches of remaining forest in Haiti are in remote parts of the country on steep slopes and mountain tops, but tree cutting is active even in these areas. Stopping the tree cutting and preserving the forest is the first priority, but it will be difficult and costly. Park guards are overwhelmed by tree cutters within the national parks. This park guard commander at Makaya National Park, the hotspot of frog diversity in the Caribbean, tells us that about 200 teams of tree cutters operate in the park on any given day, each armed with weapons. Yet there are only 10 guards for the entire park, and they have no weapons. Foreign aid has not yet targeted this fundamental media problem in Haiti. This dire situation requires a backup plan to save Haiti's frogs. One such plan is to keep and breed the species in captivity for future release in Haiti when and if the habitat improves. Recently, Penn State, the Philadelphia Zoo, and the Audubon Society of Haiti have joined in a collaboration to do just this. They have successfully established captive populations of 10 Haitian species, all critically endangered. Most of the species came from Makaya National Park, and specifically from Peak Formon. So what we're doing is we're collecting a small series to bring back to zoos in the United States, including the Philadelphia Zoo, to do captive breeding uh, to eventually uh, uh, get a, a population going that can be used to reintroduce uh, animals to uh, back to the mountain. Um, when the, the forest uh, uh, gets better. That is, there's less cutting. Right now, it's a national park, but much of it has been cut over, and they're continuing to cut, and eventually it'll disappear. Fortunately, the frog species of Formol Mountain have not yet gone extinct, but their habitat continues to shrink. So we're trying to find frogs that have not been seen for, for a while and create assurance populations of them in captivity at the zoo as a, sort of a backup plan for nature. If nature fails here in Haiti and the frogs become extinct in the wild, the species would not have been lost forever. We'll still have it at the zoo and we can use that uh, program to introduce the frog back into, into the wild. This collaboration already has had its first major success. The critically endangered Haitian marsh frog, known only from a single marsh, already has bred and the hatchlings are growing. Another backup plan is called cryobanking, which involves freezing cells of endangered species in liquid nitrogen. At any time in the future, they can be thawed and used to resurrect a species by cloning after it has gone extinct in the wild. A cryobank has been established now at Penn State for endangered Haitian frogs and other Caribbean species. Backup plans are critical, but the most immediate conservation action needed in Haiti is for tree cutting to stop. It is still not too late to save much of the rich biodiversity of this country, but only if resources are directed towards this goal and action is taken quickly. Remarkably, new species of frogs, like this one discovered on a recent trip, are being found even as the last forests are disappearing, indicating that the scope of the species' extinctions is even greater. So they, they have this, this snout that's very pointed, and it's cornified skin, and it uh, helps 
to burrow in the dirt. Like a little scalpel. Yeah. Very nice. Look at wow. those legs, man. So we don't know what this is yet. This is neat. Uh, Haiti's really suffered massive deforestation, uh, massive habitat degradation. And the fact that these frogs are still there is a sign that we can still do something to, to protect these areas and uh, the frogs that, that live there.